Yeah, I smoke roaches. You say what? Come here, I can't hear you. Talking about my dealing with the laundry. She just wanted to talk. I guess I just wanted to talk too. That's why we're here today. Fuck it, Jay Ray. That ass gotta stop watching that nigga. That nigga be. I'm talking about my little brother say whoop so much. That nigga Jay Main, I took over the motherfucking internet. Chicago niggas been had the internet for real, for real. I don't know if what they was doing is was worth it though to get to, to gain and capture that attention, but but you know, popularity is a hell of a drug. Um, but it's fucked up because popularity. Niggas only want popularity or fame or whatever you clout, whatever you niggas want to call it. Niggas only want that shit because of power. But it's crazy what the power that shit will do to you. I got a whole blunt somewhere that I lost. I got to find it. That's one of my biggest struggles now. Like before, when I first... Stumbled upon this shit, like music, rap, because that's what I wanted to do first, music. I um, I think I really just wanted to be known as like the best nigga that's ever done it. And as I got older, I began to realize like, I really like being low key. Like, I don't like being seen. And I mean, and then like you come to this question, like shit, why am I on here today? Motherfuckers getting paid off this shit. I heard niggas, I heard niggas say, um, you two rob them and shit, but shit, let me come rob me. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you can split so you can't you you taking something from me that I ain't had before. Shit, I can't really trip off of you, but if I can go pick, you know what I'm saying? Come, let me come holler at me. But shit, if it ain't about money, it ain't about nothing. I tell niggas this all the time, money like air. Go get you some money. If I can go talk to my 18-year-old self. See, my brother, my big brother told me something a long time ago. He like, man, I don't want you to look up in your whole 20s be relationships. And I looked up in my whole fucking 20s was relationships. You feel me? And I'm trying to stop my... Stop the youth, you know what I'm saying? Stop my little brothers and little cousins and get them to realize that, man, get you some money. Like, shit, money. Fuck these hoes. Money. And I'm saying all women is hoes. You got different categories of women. You got hoes and you got women. You feel me? I don't want no bitches. I don't want no hoes. I do want a woman, though. Um, but yeah, man, when I was 18, I got a fucking Camaro, bright yellow Camaro, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even want the, I ain't, I ain't even want the Camaro for real, I ain't even, it wasn't even a car I liked for real, I just got it, because I wanted a car, I wanted a Char Challenger or something like that, but, but I ended up getting a Camaro, you know what I'm saying? Pops helped me talk my mama into it, because he knew he was going to Bully me, finagle me, finesse me up out of it from time to time, which he did, and left that bitch, brought that bitch back on E. You figure deal? And ain't never tossed no funds that way. But as it me, but you know what I'm saying? Not, not not taking nothing away from that nigga though. He he was learning, maturing too. My father a great man. No, you feel me? He still him, but he a great man. I realize you can't judge nobody life, even though I still judge, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, my judgments ain't locked. My judgments is like humi humility, like I, like comedy in it. I most likely make fun of you because I can 
I'm trying to make light of the situation because I probably have, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I, like, that that's a, that's another one of my issues. Like, I'm so motherfucking, like, I don't know. The way I talk, a lot of niggas might consider it being bullish. Like, but it's just how I talk. Or, like, I, I'm cynical, you know what I mean? And that comes with a different kind of comedy. Like, shit, my grandmother could trip, I'm laughing. What the fuck you talking about? I just watched this old lady trip. You know what I'm saying? You can laugh at her too. She tripped. Shit, I ain't tripping on you. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't gonna disrespect my grandmother. You ain't gonna say nothing crazy to my grandmother. So that's the type of nigga I am. Like, shit, life is life, nigga. Shit happens. You know what I'm saying? You, shit. You keep, pick it up. Keep moving. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Had a girl who I thought I loved try to expose me on Instagram. Like, do me bad. You know what I'm saying? Do me bogus. Had me. You know what I'm saying? Butt naked. You know what I'm saying? I just got done eating some. You know what I'm saying? She, I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know how you, you know how you, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm a, what, what Ice Spice say? I'm a munch. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I had on the edge of that bed. I'm on the edge of that bed on my knees. You know what I'm saying? I'm in position. I'm eating that thing. You know, I like to eat that thing. Stroke that thing. You know what I'm saying? That's my, you know what I'm saying? I got some tricks up under me, baby. Um, you know, I just got done eating it. You know what I'm saying? She tapped out. It's a good TV on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get off my knees to get on the bed or nothing. I'm just sitting on the on the floor on my knees watching TV. I ain't you know she was taking pictures of me. She took pictures of me and when we when we went bad she posted them. That shit corny. You know what I mean? She took them right down though. I still love her too. I got love for her. I'm not in love with her currently. I don't think I'm in love with nobody. I've been by myself. And that's one of the greatest things you could do too is just be by yourself for a second. It's hard. It's hard at first. And a lot of us is in toxic and bad situations because that I ain't gonna call it a fear, but it's just knowing of being by yourself at the words. Or that's why some of us we instead of being by ourselves, we go make sure we got a backup before we leave the first one. You know what I'm saying? My last one, I ain't had no backup. My last one, I wasn't fucking with nothing. My last one, I left because it was I, I wanted to leave, not because I ain't need no excuses to leave. I ain't need no excuses to leave. It just needed me. And and my life been better, getting better since then. I'm still rocky, though. I'm still, you know what I'm saying? I'm 28. I'm 28. So if you can get these and listen to these jewels and put these into your life now as a young nigga, focus on your dollars. Man, pussy, man, you can buy pussy, bro. No disrespect. You can buy pussy, bro. That's what you want to do. You want to fuck bitches? Get you some money. Don't buy, you can't get no pussy until you afford it. Chase it like that. Chase it like that. You gotta start putting people around you first. I had a problem of making a family outside my family and and putting those people before my family members because I ain't feel whole within my family. But the truth is I ain't feel whole within myself. And I was using some other shit to supplement that. Don't run from nothing. Own up to everything. Everything you do, you got to own up to it because you did it. You chose to. I don't care what it is. Decisions we make, choices, you know what I'm saying? They they do affect, but you got to own up to it. Because now you know, okay, I, I know what to do in this situation. Next time, I know what I got to do. Sometimes it might be too late. You can't do nothing. You just got to deal with it. But that's also life. It ain't over. You still got game to go. Me and my niggas broke it down to the point that, man, we still in the second quarter. Like, we ain't even reached halftime yet. Like, we put so much pressure on life. I'm not saying you ain't supposed to put none, but you make your decisions wisely. And, and whatever decision you okay with making, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shit. I don't give a fuck. Shit, people shouldn't give a fuck. People do give a fuck. That's their decision to give a fuck. You ain't got to give a fuck. They give a fuck, shit. That's you want to waste your life on giving a fuck about what I do? Then so be it, shit. I got shit to do. I'm not trying to tell nobody who to be, what to be. But shit, nigga, it's some, it's, it's, man, it's, it's, 
It's in the essentials. <laughs> nigga, and money is one of them. I don't care what you is. You need some money. I don't care if you're black, white, gray, gay. You need some fucking money. I'm like that for real. My favorite tattoo. But how you doing? How you feeling? How you sleeping? You can talk to me. I listen. You can lay on me. I hold you. I sacrifice for you if you sacrifice for me. Sacrificing is not bad. Sometimes we sacrifice now to have a better future. And that's what I wish I did in my early 20s. Shit. It'd be good. Man, nigga, if I can go back. Man, if I can go back, boy. If I can go back to high school, I sell weed my whole high max, man. I go crazy. I go crazy just with the bud. Now nah, I'd be set for the boy. Set for now. Set for life. But also, it's talking about resurrection. Mm. I wouldn't want no peace in the parts of that. This is going to be my last go around. If they try to send me back through that door, they going to have hell. You feel me? They going to have hell. You got me fucked up. Come here. You go. <laughs> but life is beautiful. Don't, don't let me say it's not. And we can find beauty in every aspect of life, no matter if we in the Jets right now. No matter we in the motherfucking Tibet or Africa, the slums to the wealthiest of neighborhoods, life is beautiful. It's hard on every aspect. The game just get different. And what's hard to you could be easy to others, and what's easy to others may be hard to some. It's all about that glass we looking from, like what angle we looking through it. Mindset. Realize that wherever you at, whatever you doing, that's where the universe, that's where God, that's where life, that's where you're supposed to be. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Take that as, okay, this is my test. This is my test. Either I'm going to pass this test or I'm going to fail this test. It ain't no failing. Because we all going to pass through life. It's just about how we pass through it and how we want to pass through it. If you want to be homeless, nigga, go fuck around. Go be homeless, nigga. But accept being homeless. Don't whine about being homeless. Don't You know what I'm saying? Don't, nigga, tell me the benefits about being homeless. Don't tell me about what you're going through, bitch. Tell me, tell me why you made the decision to be homeless. You know what I'm saying? And I know things happen to us that that make make us homeless. You know what I'm saying? Lose your job or just bad divorce or whatever. What made you choose to still be homeless? Okay. And the people that fall into those categories of shit, they shouldn't even be in the rights of making their own decisions. Then it's as a people, we need to figure out how to handle these people. As a people. Even if it's just allowing them to be homeless and live how they want to live. Shit, they got rights too. Shit. They should have a place to go. 
every now and then when we see one that ain't been been back to the facility to change and wash clothes and and off our off, you know what I'm saying? It's time to, hey, yeah, so and so over here. They ain't look like they've been back to the facility in a few days. I think they need a reset, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, a bath and food. They over there, oh, so and so over here. We, we should know these people as a community, as a people. Own our areas. Stop treating each other like shit. I'm not saying all peace, nigga. Niggas like to fight. So I was gonna be a nigga trying to be top dog. But certain, it's just certain shit, bro. Certain shit should be ruled in humanity. I guess that's what's it, eye for an eye and no greed and no sleeping with the next man, wife and shit like that. Maybe we should, maybe we should, maybe we should follow that shit. Cause this shit crazy, boy. Maybe them niggas put them strict rules on that shit. Cause this shit crazy, boy. I, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at niggas not doing it, and this shit wild. It don't look like it's getting no better. So shit. Maybe niggas should start following that. But I don't know. We might have to make some tweaks to that shit. That shit seems kind of, kind of. Uh, I should have brought my other phone out here so I can Google them shits. I know if I jump off now, we're going to be back prepared this next one, goddamn. Yeah, it's going to be the next one. I enjoyed this one. It's cold out here. I'm American. I'm a black American, a Negro American, a Native American. It's my people been here forever. My grandma was born here. I'm going to show her mama was born here. Sure, they mama was born here. Ain't no African American. Never seen Africa. My parents have never seen Africa. They parents have never seen Africa. We don't look like them. Their bodies are a little different than us. They were all beautiful people. I don't care nobody say that Tyler girl, she one of us. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. But um Yeah. We're a different type of people. I'm a Negro American. <laughs> That nigga. All right, I'm just playing for real, but I just want to let y'all know I love you. To be careful, be free, be safe, be well. And breathe, goddamn.